Hey there, welcome back to Little Lab, the channel that makes science fun and easy for kids. Today, we're going to learn about the amazing world of bees. Bees are very cool insects that are really important. They pollinate many of the plants that we eat for food. And they make delicious honey. Do you like honey? Let's start by talking about beehives. A beehive is the home to a colony of bees. A colony of bees is a really big family of bees. The hive is made of wax cubbies that are used to store honey, pollen, and the bees' eggs and baby bees. Baby bees are called larvae. They look like white worms. Each hive has only one queen bee, who is the leader of the colony. The queen is the only bee who lays eggs and she can lay up to 2,000 eggs in a single day. That's a lot. The queen bee is also the biggest bee in the hive. The queen bee's job is to lay a lot of eggs, which will hatch into larvae that will grow up to become bees. Worker bees are the bees that we see flying around outside the hive. They are the ones that collect nectar from flowers, which they use to make honey. Nectar is a sweet juice inside flowers. Nectar is the bee's favorite food. Worker bees also collect pollen, which they use to feed the young bees in the hive. Now let's talk about pollination. Pollination helps plants make new seeds so they can continue to grow more plants. When a bee visits a flower to collect nectar, it also picks up pollen from the flower on its legs and body. Then when the bees fly to another flower, the pollen mixes and helps make new seeds, fruit, and vegetables. Without bees, many of the plants we rely on for food would not have fruits or vegetables. That's why bees are so important to us. Bees also make delicious honey. Honey is made by worker bees who collect nectar from flowers and bring it back to the hive. The nectar is then stored in the hive. Over time, the nectar turns into honey, which people can then take and eat. Did you know that bees are also really smart? They have an amazing sense of smell and can recognize different scents from up to three miles away. They can also talk with each other through dance. When a worker bee finds a good source of nectar or pollen, it will go back to the hive and perform a dance to tell the other bees where to find it. Let's take a closer look at the body parts of bees. Bees have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head of a bee has its mouth parts, antennae, and eyes. Bees have two large eyes which makes them really good at seeing things. The thorax is where the bee's wings and legs are attached. Bees have two pairs of wings that are clear and delicate. They are able to move their wings very fast, which allows them to fly at high speeds. Bees
Bees also have six legs that are covered in tiny hairs. These hairs help the bee to hold on to flowers and collect pollen. The abdomen is where the bee has its stinger. The stinger is a sharp, pointed part that the bee uses to defend itself. In conclusion, bees are amazing insects that help humans. From pollination to making honey, bees are very helpful. We hope you enjoyed learning about bees, and we'll see you next time on Little Lab. Make sure to subscribe and check out more of our videos. Bye!